everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one of my favourite types of videos to do, a Primark haul. You guys know I love Primark. Primark's probably my favourite clothes store, favourite everything store. Like, Primark is killing it with everything. Like, they do home, they do, well, you guys know, Primark do everything. I love it. I bought a lot of this stuff, like, over the last month and a bit, but I'm only going to show things that I'm pretty sure are still in stores. I'll just pour myself a cup of tea, get myself comfy. Don't know why I'm talking in this accent. <laughs> oh, that sprayed in my eye and it was hot. Ow. Okay, so like I said, I bought quite a lot of stuff, so I'll get straight on with it so that I don't blab and this is a really long video because you guys know what I'm like by now. I like to blab. Okay, so I'm going to start with clothes first. So the first item is this top. Why is there a hair on my nose? So this one I got in my normal size 8. It does just have like Mickey Mouse ice creams like all over it. So it's the silhouette of his head in different colours on top of the ice cream cones. And it's the same on the back. And it is a cropped top as well so it ties at the front. And it's quite oversized so I actually bought it in my normal size 8. Normally I oversize things and I size up so that the bigger but this one you don't need to, it's already quite oversized. So I got that in an eight and I just think it's really cute. It's just so spring and summery and I just love it. So that was eight pound. Okay, so the next thing is kind of just something I got to like lounge around the house. So I got these tracky bottoms and they've got Jurassic Park on and they are just kind of, what would you call this? Camouflage, camouflage. So these are just camouflage, they are cuffed on the bottom and then they're just camouflage on the side as well. Um, so they're pretty plain actually. I think there was a jumper to match it, but these went into the sale and I got these for £3. They were in the sale last time I was in last week, so they might still be available. Like everybody's sales sections are different in Primark anyway, but I just like them for lounging around the house and I like Jurassic Park, so £3, you can't go wrong. So I did get this top a couple of weeks ago, but it was in last time I went in last week. Um, they also have a Jigglypuff that's like covered in sequins as well, which I'm really tempted to get. But this one was £6 and the sequin one was like £8. And it's like on the back as well, all patterned. And it's just the cutest top. And every time I wear it, like, it's always a conversation starting it, so I really like it. And I think for £6 as well, it's really detailed. Like, I really like it. I oversized quite a bit. I got a 12, so it is quite big, but I really like it. And I just think it's really fun. So that was £6. I suppose I should mention this top as well. I got this maybe last week. And it's a cropped, well, jumper, I want to say. Yeah, it's a jumper, but it's cropped and it's bright, like, bubblegum pink. I don't know how well it comes up on camera, but it is, like, a cropped one. I'll try and show you, so. So it is like cropped, like just on the stomach. It's just plain on the back. I oversized because I thought it was going to be more off the shoulder, but the colour's not that kind of fit. It's quite rounded. So I did actually get this in a 10, and I don't feel getting a bigger size would have made it any, any more like off the shoulder or anything. So yeah, this was £5 as well, which I thought was a really good price. They had a couple of colours, but I just really like this colour. So the next thing is this top. It is actually a pyjama top. I did actually show this in my Disney haul uh, at the beginning of the month. But I wanted to show it again because it's still in stores and I really like it and it's from Primark. So it did have matching bottoms and they also have like a Marie crop top now as well. They really like going for the whole Marie thing. Like Marie's quite a popular character. So obviously she's from the Aristocats and it's on, it's the same on the back. It's really patterned. And then um, yeah, got Marie on there. I just thought it was really pretty. I actually wear it as a daytime top. So I oversized and I think I got a medium. Yeah, I got a medium. Um, if I was going to wear it for bed, I would have got a large and made it like really baggy. But I got the medium and I love wearing it. I wore it with um, a skirt, like a high-waisted like midi skirt the other day and it just looked so cute. I just love the colours in it. I just think it's really pretty. So that was only £6. So another Disney top. I definitely showed it in my last Disney haul as well. But it is still in stores. I did pick it up maybe three weeks ago. No, maybe only two weeks ago. But anyway, yeah, it's still in stores. And this one, I'm pretty sure, was £6, but it might have been 8 I can't quite remember. The thing I find with this top is that it's very boxy. So it's like, it doesn't matter how much you oversize it, it doesn't get any longer. It just goes wider and becomes very, like, square and boxy. So I sized up, like, quite a bit and got a 14 because I thought it was quite short. So I tried to make it as long as possible. And I literally had to go up to a 14 to get it to be any longer. So it doesn't look too big, but I don't know. I just think it's very boxy, but I really, really like the detail on it. Like, I love the colours. I just think it's great. And 
obviously I wore it when I went and seen Beauty and the Beast so it is just plain on the back and uh, I'm sure I think it was six but it might have been eight I want to say six but yeah I just I loved it but I just wish it was a bit longer it, it feels really boxy I don't really like that I got this next top literally just the other day I haven't even worn it yet it's still got the tag on it was two pound I got it in a size 10 because that's all that was left it's quite big though for a size 10 and it's quite like pastely lilac and it's got like hearts all over it and then it's just plain white and it's the same on the back and I just thought it was a really nice t-shirt to like throw on over spring summer with like some jeans and stuff and I just thought it was really nice and for £2 it was on the sale rack I thought yep yeah, I'll have one of them I should probably point out that I have never done space buns before and I know I look ridiculous like I know I do but no joke this took me an hour to do so I am not taking them out until they have run their course an hour like I've got such fine hair like I have no hair at all it just took so long to make them look decent I'm tell you man I might look stupid but I put the effort in <laughs> put the effort in to look stupid <laughs> next item is this skirt it is a pleated kind of tool tool no not it's not a tool tool uh, midi skirt I don't know it's not really pleated actually it's just kind of a, a tool midi skirt is that how you say it tool tool midi skirt I don't really know but anyway it's that kind of mesh material um so the skirt itself has like a shorter underlay if that makes sense so the skirt goes to like just kind of it's not as hot it's not as like mid thigh it's kind of mid thigh to knee if you see what i mean so like three quarters of the way down the thigh and then the actual tulle bit goes like almost mid calf and it's got like these dots all over it and it's like gray and I just thought it was really pretty. The waistband is really thick and really big. Like this is a size eight and I feel like it's massive, but um, there was no sixes. And I was like, well, it'll be comfy if anything. So it's just the same on the back. And this was 10 pound, but I absolutely love this type of skirt. And I wanted loads of this type of skirt last year. And the only shop that was really bringing them out that I liked was Topshop. And I do have a Topshop one, but it was like 35 pound and this was 10. So I'm loving that Primark is really jumping on the whole skirt thing with like the mesh and yeah I just think it's really pretty and I have worn it as well and I got loads of compliments on it as well so it is really nice and it was £10. So I got another one. I love these types of skirts. Uh, so this one has a different waistband and the underskirt goes pretty much all the way down. Um, It's not like half half if that makes any sense. So it goes all the way down um, to like below the knee and then the skirt's just a little bit longer and it's like mid calf and it is really stretchy as well i'm pretty sure i got this in an eight yeah so this was an eight as well and i just love the color it's like a really dusty lilac i want to say and that was 10 pound as well this one doesn't have the dot pattern on it is just plain but it's so pretty i can really smell my perfume on it ah oh, i like my perfume <laughs> i've had it on a couple of times so it smells like my perfume um why have i sprayed the perfume on the skirt that's weird Oh well, at least I know my butt smells good. Yeah. Yeah, so that was £10 as well. And they had it in a couple of colours, I'm sure. But I just picked up the pink one because I thought it was the prettiest. So the next item is this like floaty kind of cami vest top. It does actually have adjustable straps. It's quite see-through. But if you have like a nude bra on or a white bra on. Or even if you put like a short sleeve top under it, it would be fine. Um, but they're quite big. This is a size 8. Like I've got a size 8. But what I loved about it is it was only £4. There were so many colours as well. Like I really want to go back and get the pink one and the lilac one. So I just absolutely love the colour. It's like a mint green. And it's just so great for spring. And tucked into like them tulle skirts. I think it'll just be so nice if you like pull it out a little bit and then it like hang over. So I just, I had to have it. I mean, it's pastel, which I love. And it was £4. So yeah, they had so many different colours and like patterns as well. But... I definitely think I'm going to go back and get some more of the pastel colours but I wasn't as fussed on like the patterned ones. Okay so next I'll talk about like beauty and accessories that sort of thing. So I got these sunglasses they are like a kind of a cat eye but kind of not. Like, they're a very subtle cat eye and they're like a very pale see-through kind of pink. They are very lightly mirrored but in a kind of um rose kind of I want to say a sunny way like they're not dark they're not brown or black they're kind of like a rose so when you put them on everything looks like sunnier if that makes sense that's stupid isn't it I know what I mean but they were two pound and they came with like a little case as well 
Um, yeah, I just thought they were really nice. Let me see if I actually look any good in them. So I don't know whether I suit them, but I bought them. I think most people wear the sunglasses like that. I just think that if I do that, I look stupid. Like I have to put them all the way up. Well anyway, regardless of how stupid I look with my space buns and my glasses, they were two pound. Okay, so I'm absolutely loving that Primark are bringing out some more like vintage kind of things. So Powerpuff Girls, hello, I love the Powerpuff Girls. So they brought out this like really cute purse. No idea what I'll actually use it for though because I also bought the Aladdin and Jasmine one and it's now on my display. Like maybe I should just display this one as well. But uh, I just thought it was really cute. Like I love the colours. It's like really like bright bubblegum pink and like blue it's got all three of them on there and it's it is a decent size actually like i think it's one of those things where you could even use it to store like eyelashes and stuff in when you like stay overnight somewhere like stuff like that and um, but it was only three pounds so i'm sure i'll find a use for it and i just it is actually glittery as well on the front there and i absolutely love it i just don't know what to use it for when i had to have it <laughs> i also got this giant palp of me Powerpuff makeup, Powerpuff girl makeup bag or wash bag, whatever you want to call it. It is actually full of makeup. Like I am using this one, so I'm using this one for makeup. I needed a bigger one. Just I have too much makeup. This one has a pom pom on as well. I'm pretty sure this one was five pound, or was it four? It wasn't. It wasn't six. It was less than six. I'm sure it was. And um, but it's quite a big one. It's a really similar pattern, but it's more like white. I just think it's brilliant. I mean it's so colourful and I, I love colours, like I love bright and I love like just nerdy vintage stuff so Powerpuff Girls makeup bag was right up my street uh, but yeah I'm pretty sure it was around £5. So talking of vintage nerdy stuff in colours, this is like pastel themed, I got this, uh, is this a wash bag? See this one was 6 so I definitely feel like that one was 4 or 5 but you open it up and it's got like the two compartments they like zip across and then they just velcro or close and it's all that kind of material that it's okay if it gets wet so I'm pretty sure this is one of those things where you can take it with you when you go on holiday and stuff and then put all of your like shampoo and stuff in like separate containers separate containers separate compartments and then they won't like flood onto each other and it's okay if it gets wet because it's that kind of material where it would just wipe off and then you could probably like hang it in the shower and of course it's the Rugrats. I love the Rugrats. I used to watch the Rugrats. I'm pretty sure most of you know who the Rugrats are and it's got Angelica on it and it says sorry not sorry. I'll give you a close-up of the pattern and then on the front it says again can you not sorry not sorry and it's got Angelica being really naughty on it and it's just great. I picked up quite a few of these like they're called blending brushes. They're kind of like that toothbrush makeup brush, if that makes sense. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, I really wanted the Real Techniques one, but I didn't want to pay the price for the packet if they were going to be crappy. So I know Primarks are obviously going to be a lot different, but I thought I may as well buy a slightly cheaper one and see if I actually like the style of using it like that. And I actually love them. Like I've been using them every day. I haven't even thought about getting the Real Techniques ones again since I bought these ones. So I bought two of the medium one, which was £4, and then I bought a smaller one, which I haven't actually used yet, um, which I was going to use for like contouring and like under the eyes and stuff. So these ones were four and this size was three. I haven't tried the Real Techniques ones, but I bet that like at least half is decent. Like I haven't had any problems. Like I tried contouring with them and they blended really well. Like yeah, okay, sometimes it took a bit of getting used to, but I think that's just because I haven't used a brush like this before and I honestly love them. So I definitely recommend these. Um, at least as like starter ones if you try to use this type of brush or if you just can't afford the Real Techniques ones, these ones are a good alternative. I got one of these makeup organisers. Uh, I normally get my ones of these off eBay for like 99p for all my lipsticks. But this one was like 50p in a sale thing and it's heart shaped and I needed some more for all my lipsticks so I thought it was 50p, why not? So I got a couple of beauty items. I got some nail polish fast dry spray glossy finish quick dry. I haven't actually used it yet so I can't comment if it's any good but it was 90p and you just spray it on your nails after you've painted them and it's meant to make them dry quicker so I need to try that out. I got some more makeup brush cleaner. I do actually use this one often like this is like maybe the third one of these I've bought. Um, they last quite a while. I mean I don't religiously clean my brushes like every day but I do clean them like at least once a week and sometimes I like spot clean them and then I'll deep clean them. This is only £2 and it's... Uh, where is it? 
125 milliliters, which is not bad really. So it does work, it's quite good. I also bought some more of these um, foundation sticks. I accidentally bought a foundation stick a while ago and I was going to use it as a concealer because I thought it was a concealer stick and then when I realised it was a foundation stick I ended up trying it as a foundation and it was amazing, like I loved it, like it was so good, it would stay in place all day, like I couldn't believe it was like £2 um, and it ran out so I went to get some more but they've changed it and this is a different one, like I got two because I was like yes I must stock up because I could never find my colour so I get the porcelain one but it's different, like it must have been a while ago when I bought my one and it now smells cheap and it's not great as a foundation, it goes really oily so I have actually been using it as a concealer, it's okay, it's quite thick so it does cover things quite well but I certainly wouldn't use the foundation stick as a foundation, sorry Primark. Got a 20 pack of makeup sponges which were £1, you know, just for general use of things. I got two of these pens. I got a pink one with like a crown on and a purple one with like this diamondy thing on and they were only 90p and I honestly absolutely love them but I can't find my pink one so I'm good. They also have a blue one. They're just pens like there's nothing like special about the way they write or anything. I just like the way they look. I got this hair bow. I'm pretty sure this was in the kids section but I could be wrong and it was like 90 pence or something so it's just a white kind of lace one with like a flower pattern all over it and then it's just got the crocodile hair clip and I'm honestly sure it was like a pound 90 pence like it was really inexpensive and I just use it in my hair when I have like a high ponytail I just thought it was pretty for like the spring and stuff yeah <laughs> got this cushion I think it was three pound very sure it was and it was definitely still in the last time I was in which was like last week and um, it's just a lip cushion like I just wanted it I just thought it was funny Um, I put it on my sofa it was going to go like in the bedroom but it's ended up staying downstairs on the sofa. I just really like it, it's just, yeah, just a, just a lip cushion. What else can I say? Okay, the next thing is pretty big. I mean it wasn't big but now it is big. You'll see what I mean, hang on. So I got a washing basket, it's the same kind of, I say it's the same lip print, that wasn't a lip print cushion, it was a lip stick lips it was lips but anyway this is just white a washing basket it's one of those ones that pushes down but it's full of washing <laughs> like i need to do some washing it's got these rings around and it like pushes down flat it has a toggle on it as well so you can actually like clip it flat as well so it doesn't keep popping up and i'm pretty sure it was like three pound something like that like it was really inexpensive and it's just a washing basket and it's got lips all over it <laughs> I just needed one. We're kind of getting onto the home stuff now. I got a pack of two pillowcases and a bed sheet which is exactly the same pattern and it's like lip prints all over it. I seem to have gone crazy with the lip stuff this time and I don't know why. Um, but it's got like a light, it's got like a dark kind of mauvey pink on it then like a lilac -y purple and then like a deep pink. Um, so it's got three different coloured lip prints on it and it was a pack of two pillowcases for like two pound and then the bed sheet was like three pound and it's exactly the same print and that was a double bed sheet as well. I also got a new bed quilt and um, it was actually a present off my auntie uh, for Easter she got us a bed quilt. I'd... Why not? It's already on my bed though because I love it so it's got like unicorns all over it and then it looks quite grey but it's actually like very lilac um, so in person it's lilac but on camera and under lights it's grey so it's quite lilac -y. I look grey we'll see and it's got unicorns all over it um, and then on the back so like underneath the bed quilt and on the back of the pillows is like pink with like kind of like stars and like magicalness on it but uh, that was £5 in the sale and when I was last in there was still some of these left. I got myself a mermaid blanket and um, they've got like a couple of different types of mermaid blankets and a couple of different colours but I preferred this one and um, I did get one back in January and I think it was in my January haul as well and I even remember saying that I think I wanted this one instead and I did actually end up taking that one back and getting this one the other one was like a knitted one it just wasn't as comfortable but this one's like a proper like soft like throw it just kind of splits a little bit at the back so you can get your legs in and then it is actually sealed at the bottom so your legs can't come out which the other one wasn't and then it's like this really nice purple lilac -y shade and it also comes in grey or pink and it's honestly so soft and I love it and I put it on my bed and that was I think it was nine pound like it wasn't as expensive as the knitted one which I think was 11 or 12 pound but it was a little bit less it was around the 10 pound mark 
and it does have like a kind of mermaid kind of scale effect all over it I don't know if you can see that but I just thought it was really pretty and I like to think I'm a mermaid so why not I got this camera tripod it did actually come with like a, I want to say a, like a little phone prop so you screwed it on and then you could put your phone into it and it was like a tripod for your phone but I chucked that out because I was like I won't need that because I thought I was going to be using it for my camera and then the other day I actually needed it to do Instagram live so I could prop my phone up and I've chucked it out so I'm probably going to have to get another one but it was only £4 and it is actually really quite sturdy as well so just a camera tripod for £4 but it does actually work on phones as well if you don't chuck out the part that connects it to the phone like I did last item is another home piece it is this shell kind of like mermaid shell phone phone mermaid shell picture holder why was that so hard to say so I got the pink one it also came in like a deep minty green I want to say which I kind of wish I'd gotten that color as well but I got the pink one and um, it was only a pound and I already have a picture on it uh, so yeah a photo holder they're really going crazy on the mermaid stuff, but I like it because I like mermaid stuff, so woohoo. Speaking of mermaids, I tell a lie, that was not the last item. This is the last item. Uh, so I got this plaque, it was £2 and it is an uh, Ariel, the little mermaid one. It says mermaid kisses and starfish wishes and it's got a little X on it as well. And she just looks really pretty and Ariel is one of my favourite Disney princesses. So I had to get it and that was £2 and it was actually in the kids section. So I don't know why because... I'm not a kid and I wanted it but whatever I still found it so yeah two pound and it's like holographic as well and it's just really pretty I love it how I try to justify why I've bought things just say you've bought them Sarah because you have so that was everything in my Primark haul I hope I didn't blab on for too long like I usually do I like to talk I like to blab so why not let's all have a big blabby talk together that sounds weird stop talking Sarah if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and apparently people are telling people to do this thing where you click the notifications so that you know when I do a video I don't really know I'm not a YouTube expert all I know is you can like videos and subscribe so please like my video and subscribe <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next one bye guys